Hi, my name is Trevor Tysman from KBandsTraining.com. Today we've got a great drill for you basketball players out there really looking to improve our skills around the blocks. With the attacking lane drill, we're going to need four speed and agility cones to help with our spacing. Next, we're going to be using our reactive stretch cord to provide resistance and assistance throughout the drill to help us build a center of balance as well as be more explosive to the basket. Be sure you take a little bit of time to be comfortable with the setup of this drill because we don't want to make things complicated when we get out there. We want to sit right on point and make sure that we're getting everything out of every rep. To begin, we need anchors to have that stretch cord to be extended out to be about 8 to 10 feet to provide a little bit of resistance right out of the gates. Athletes will stand at one of the elbows and as we begin, the anchors will go ahead and give them a pull to simulate a shove from behind or a little bit of a push as we finish into the basket for our opposite side layup. As soon as basketball players finish the layup, go ahead and settle down into your seat, shuffling explosively into the resistance to the other cone. Here, anchors, be sure that you're walking up from where you began because our goal is to get up towards that top side elbow for the final turn. As you move to that third cone, you're gonna rotate, keep that weight over that inside foot and explosively gain ground and sprint all the way to the third cone, breaking down with those patter steps as you reach the cone. Now open up your hip and shuffle explosively to the fourth cone, picking up the ball and moving into a nice jump shot. Anchors, be creative and give your basketball players that little bit of extra, giving them more or less resistance to affect their shot. Remember, we're trying to make these drills as game-like as possible, so you have the ability to be able to add and subtract resistance at any time to throw them off their center of balance. Athletes, be sure that when you put on your reactive stretch core belt, we've got it nice and tight because that's going to allow us to get that rotation around our waist without any bit of slack coming. We want that thing to move freely so then as we break through that second and third cone, that 360 D ring easily rotates around our body and we can move just as we normally would. The last tip for you basketball players is to really work on your footwork. We've got several turns and we're opening our hips and we're being explosive in many different directions. This is very much like a basketball game. So as we're working in the lane, it's very important that we work on those feet so we can be in position for an explosive vertical leap or we can be in a position to attack and shoot a layup. Take some time to focus on the footwork provided in the video and be sure that you're mimicking these types of movements. We want to be able to open our hip and be explosive as well as pull up for that jump shot like we said at any time. With this dynamic drill, you're gonna find it a bit challenging to make sure that you're keeping that intensity, but it's important that we really focus, as we said, on our footwork and be explosive through each individual turn. We're gonna be working on three resisted reps on the left and from the right so that we're working both hands on our layups, as well as opening our hip and being powerful on our sprints. Here at kbandstraining.com, I'm always trying to challenge you with sports-specific drills to mimic game-like situations. If you need a reactive stretch cord to help with these types of bumps with your jump shot or layup, head to kbandstraining.com and let's get started working together.